everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and here is your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your executive action, going to be a third stimulus check pretty soon, executive order, memorandum, moratorium, and stimulus package update for Sunday, January 3rd, 2020, yes, the last day of Congress, right, today, find out why Mitch McConnell is voicing disappointment after his home was vandalized this weekend, as well as Nancy Pelosi's, surprising what he said, I think you'll be shocked, how stimulus payments are coming faster this time, but how some will have to wait weeks or even months, and how the week's runoffs on the election and Biden's transition team is already showing signs of when we'll receive more financial relief in the third round of stimulus payments after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, elevate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, we give away money here. I'm giving away $1,500 when we reach 150,000 subscribers, which we're days away with your support. We're so close. All you've got to do is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it. Subscri it doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe, like, and put a comment. Could be any comment. A random doesn't have to be special. Don't think you have to put some kind of special comment because it's random. In fact, the last one was random comment that got picked. Also, grab your Weeble stock limited time offer. You get four free stocks. Two could be valued up over three thousand dollars. You get it's amazing. All you do is fund the account with a hundred bucks, and you could like have four stocks over three thousand dollars. It's crazy. And thank you so much to my Patreons. You're all the best. I hope that you enjoy the articles and getting a sneak peek into everything I invest in. But first, the homes of Senate Majority, the home of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, were vandalized over this weekend after Congress adjourned Friday without securing $2,000 stimulus checks. Yes, the two most powerful people in Congress. Remember, Congress writes the law, the president signs it. They're the ones that put it together. The two most powerful people in all of America had their houses vandalized. Messages like, quote, where's my money? And other explicit were written with spray paint and fake blood across McConnell and Pelosi's home. Well, in a response to the vandalism, McConnell said in a statement Saturday morning, quote, I've spent my career fighting the First Amendment and defending peaceful protest. I appreciate every Kentuckian who has engaged in the democratic process, whether they agree with me or not. Wow, bold statement, right? When you think about it, your house just got painted and had fake blood put on it. He added, quote, my wife and I have never been intimidated by these to uh, toxic playbook. We just hope our neighbors in Louisville aren't inconvenienced by the radical tantrum. Yes, that's amazing. His wife and him, eh, whatever. Paint our house, whatever you want. But guess what? Um, it's not going to change a thing. While we may not always agree with senators and congressmen and women to call for change and to be proactive, we must take to the election polls instead of voicing our opinions with this kind of vandalism, right? Up next, stimulus payments are coming faster this time, but not everyone will get theirs at once. And some may have to wait weeks or even months, which is not cool, right? Um, there's a January 15th cutoff for the IRS to complete sending payments. Yeah, January 15th. Literally 12 days from now, less than two weeks, the IRS is supposed to have all this out. People who have direct deposit information, such as those who receive SSI and SSDI, can expect to get theirs right away if you aren't haven't got it already. It should be in your account. Many of the people I talked to and a lot of people in the comments have said they already got it. The IRS began sending out the first paper checks in the mail, but the U.S. Treasury can can't process can process between five and seven million paper checks a week in addition to checks for other federal programs so 
the stimulus thing is not the only thing the Treasury Department is writing checks for. So many will have to wait a while for these to be processed if you're waiting on a paper check because this January 15th deadline, anyone that still hasn't received theirs by the date will have to claim it in early 2021 during tax season. Yeah, so when you file your taxes in April, maybe you've already filed them, that's the time you'll address the issue. According to CNET.com, quote, the time then becomes a matter of how soon you submit your taxes, 2020, your 2020 taxes, and how quickly the IRS would be able to process your return. It'll be there. So if you still haven't received your stimulus check yet, hang tight because it just might be on its way to you right now. Of course, it's not the $2,000 we hope for, but it looks like we may get that pretty soon. And finally, as the IRS has begun sending out our stimulus payments, the battle for an additional relief isn't done. President-elect Joe Biden is promising to push. Yes, Joe is promising to push for more checks after he's sworn in January 20th. As you know, this week, Congress New people, the new class of 117, Congress will be sworn in. Yes, so it's going to be uh, quite, quite a transition. Biden has referred to the current $600 checks as a down payment on what's to come once he's in office. At a news conference um, days before Christmas, he talked about his plans for a new relief, a virus relief package. A reporter asked if he would include more direct payments and in what amount? What amount can we expect? The reporter asked Joe Biden. Joe Biden, President-elect Joe Biden, said, quote, look, that's a negotiation issue, but it will. Yes, it will. Whether Biden succeeds in getting a third round of stimulus checks may depend in large part on this Tuesday's runoff election in Georgia that will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Yes, the two seats in the Senate, if they both switch blue, the Republicans lose control of Congress, uh, of the Senate part of Congress. You have the House and you have the Senate, right? Those two parties will be all blue if they lose the Republican runoffs. More money has been dumped into Georgia than ever before. Plastered. People are out walking the streets. It is the most... I mean, the Republicans will have two years of lame duck. They won't have any say in government for the most part. They'll be able to rattle their chains. But honestly, they won't be able to vote or stop anything. Because if those two seats flip blue, then Kamala Harris, yes, Kamala Harris will have controlling vote over the Senate. The Democrats can just vote and she'll be the tiebreaker. And ultimately, it'll be an all blue country. Uh, the House, the uh, Senate and the president will all be blue. So anything the Democrats want to do, they'll be able to get done for two years before they come up again where, you know, you see who, how much control they have. A third round of stimulus checks may still be needed based on statistics. The numbers don't lie. A, quote, a census survey released in mid-December found that more than 85 million Americans are having trouble paying rent and covering other regular expenses. 85 million people. That is a lot of people that will hurt our economy if they're not able to pay their bills. Some top Republicans and Democrats have already shown their support to the president over these $2,000 stimulus proposal about these checks. As you know, the House already voted for it. And if they lose the Senate, then, well, the Senate will just wait till we get the new senators in there and then they'll vote again and our checks will come. So this next week will be critical in determining whether we can receive the next round of stimulus checks and to see if the Republican, I mean, if the Democrats, if they did get that, if they were really serious about giving us money in the first place, or if they were just putting something out there that they knew the Republicans would not sign to make themselves look good. That's politics, folks. It sucks. They all suck. That was your stimulus check and second stimulus check, third stimulus check update, executive action stimulus package update for Sunday. January 3rd, 2020. Thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment with, you know, what you're most looking forward to the new year. Do you have a resolution? What's your new year's resolution? I'd love to know. Put it in the comments down below. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Stay safe out there. I love you. Take care of yourself and be safe.